So let's take a look at postmodernism and religion. So postmodernism as a theory is not macro or micro, it's not structural or action, it's not consensus or conflict. It doesn't really fit anywhere neatly, but it is a postmodern theory. And what that means is that they're looking at fragmented, diverse society. They look at the issues of pick and mix, risk, how society is rapidly changing. And they also highlight this idea that there's greater equality in society as a whole, but this greater equality leads to greater risk. They also are a theory which focuses on contemporary change. So they're looking at current events, globalization as a big contemporary issue. Now, to put it in perspective, if you think about the theories, we had industrialization in 1750 to the 1900s. All the other theories we've looked at, functionalism, Marxism, feminism, new rights, social action, they are all studying the modern society. They're all looking at the same version of society from a different perspective. Postmodernism is looking at a different society, it's looking at postmodern society, and therefore it sets it aside from some of the more modern theories we've already studied. Now, what this means when it comes to their views of religion is that in a postmodern era, there are going to be changes that have taken place, and particularly religion and the way we believe and practice religion has changed. So they highlight that religion is more diverse, there's more pluralism, there's an increase in the variety of religions and traditional religions have hit a decline. We're no longer seeing religion as necessarily the only source of social solidarity because there's such a diversity of beliefs, we can question whether it would still provide social solidarity. They talk about the idea of pick and mix. Individuals can pick and mix beliefs and practices from a range of religions, combine them into something new and suits their needs. They talk about how religion is based on more consumerism. So there's this commodity idea of religion and they will talk about the spiritual shopper. And they talk about how religion has been relocated. Religion has moved out of the churches and into more public settings like online media or literally in public gathering areas. Now, Hervu Ledger highlights that religious participation has changed in the postmodern era. It's less about the traditional definitions of religion and it's more about belief and individual choice as, a, as opposed to traditional uh, socialization and identity formation. So it argues that religion is a personal choice rather than inherited or fixed to our identity. But she introduces the idea of spiritual shoppers. So the idea that we are consumers, we pick and mix, we go around, we buy into religions, we choose beliefs and practices that meet our needs, that fit our identity, that fit our lifestyle. And therefore religion no longer acts as a source of collective identity because we are all using religious identities. We're all using religions for our own identity in different ways, in different bits. So there's no universal religion that we are all subscribing to. Leon highlights that and agrees with Hervu Ledger that religion has become a commodity. He talks about consumerism of religion and the fact that we are consumers of religion. Particularly highlighting globalization has increased the processes, the range of religions and beliefs that we are accessible to. The, the kind of rough suggestion that there are about 4,300 different belief systems or religions in the world globally. We have greater access to a wider variety of religions. Leon also argued that religion has become disembedded from real life. It's not fixed in a local church or a physical place. Religion has moved online via the internet. It's spreading. So religion is disembedded. It's disengaged from those physical locations like a church and it's more accessible everywhere through different means. One example, this is the religious experience has changed. So for example, um, the Harvest Day Crusade within Christian faiths taking place in Disneyland. So again, religion moving and displacing itself becoming disembedded from its kind of physical structures and more mobile. And then last but not least, we have Bauman. Now, Bauman argued that postmodernity has led to a crisis in meaning. There's no longer a sense of morality, stability, right or wrong or universal truth. This is due to increased diversity, fragmentation of beliefs, and ultimately, as I say, we've looked at earlier, a decline in that traditional universal sense of, of religion and value. Therefore, this creates a crisis in meaning. People don't know how to live their lives. There's no set or, or kind of fixed set of ideas and values. There's so much diversity in religion with all different competing values. It causes this crisis. And we also see religion and religious leaders 
as being the experts in their field, but because there's so many different religious leaders and so many moral guides, it creates a level of uncertainty, confusion and this crisis of meaning.